Hello Scorpio, welcome to your soul's journey reading for the week. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Time is fluid and energies are interchangeable, meaning it is not gender specific. So feel free to swap the roles as you see fit. However, do not force a role or situation to fit if it doesn't resonate with you, okay? All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to pull a spirit animal oracle card to see where your current energies are at. <clears throat> if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It'll really help my channel grow. I'm truly grateful for all the love and support. All right, let's see, spirit. What messages do we have for Scorpio? My fellow Scorps. What messages do we have for Scorpio, Spirit? Oh, thank you. So we got Beaver Spirit, lay a solid foundation. This is giving me that energy of building something. <clears throat> Um, planning ahead for the future, staying focused on a certain goal, working hard towards your dreams. This is beautiful energy. <clears throat> and Spirit is wanting me to point out the fact that the beaver is a water element creature and also an earth element creature as well so this is like not only are you are you staying grounded but it feels like you are in tune with your intuition and your emotions and but yet you are staying focused on reaching your or attaining your physical goals whatever that may be some of you this could be career related um, but others of you, this could be, you know, goals in terms of like spirituality or relationship goals. I'm, I'm hearing the word marriage. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pull some energy oracle cards here. Universe, get some guys. What messages do we have for Scorpio? What messages do we have for Scorpio? We are almost at the end of Capricorn season, which means that we're, I feel like we're preparing for, you know, to really shine, right? Yin and Yang. There's balance happening here. You know, and that card talks about balancing your emotions, balancing your light and your dark. Let's see, what else, Spirit? What other messages for Scorpio? Attachment. I'm hearing that you're releasing attachments. You're letting go of certain uh, situations or people that might be toxic and so you're not you're not letting that affect you oh and then you got envy somebody's jealous of you Scorpio <laughs> it feels like this is giving me that energy of just really putting your head down and staying focused towards your success. And in doing so, you are finding balance or maybe some of you are being challenged here to find balance, right? And, re and release attachments. But I feel like for others of you, maybe you have released attachments or you are releasing certain attachments and you're gaining clarity because of that. And this, in turn, is, is making people's 
heads turn. Like, what is Scorpio doing? That <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, Scorpio got it pretty dang good. And we in the middle of a pandemic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to pull some Wisdom of the Oracle cards. Universe spirits and guides, what messages do we have for Scorpio? But it doesn't, it doesn't feel like you are wanting to be a part of that drama. It's like you're choosing to stay away from that kind of energy. So you got never ending story. Maybe this is a, this is causing internal conflict, right? And it's like giving me that feeling of drama. That's why you got your heart closed. The heart store is closed, y'all, for Scorpio. Do not enter. What else, spirit? You got chop wood? This, this is kind of giving me that energy of cleaning out your house. You're clearing, you're cleaning out your closet. You're clearing out, you know, toxic energy. Yeah. Speaking of house. No place like home. I'm getting a very comfortable Scorpio here. In this reading. And so not only are you clearing out toxic energies and you're, I think that you're just clearing out your mind space, really, but you're, you're also very comfortable with where you are, you're with your home, with your family, you know, it's like you can't be bothered, right? And interestingly enough, you know, this thing is on, you see this a uh, little stand that is being hooked to here. This is like a hummingbird feeder stand. And when, when we think of hummingbirds, you know, we that uh, animal symbolizes sucking in the sweet nectar of life, you know, and um, really in, enjoying the abundance that the universe provides. It's taking, it is, it is not taking um, every moment for granted, you know? And you're, you're in touch with your intuition right there. You know, the hummingbird also talks about being present, living in the now, and but also um, being ready for whatever, you know, is to come. This is beautiful, Scorpio. Maybe that's why others are jealous. It's like you got some haters, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Let's see. We're gonna jump into the tarot here. Bottom of this deck, we got the King of Wands in reverse. Interesting. This is that feeling of like, there's a lack of motivation to move forward. Maybe that's why you're so comfortable. Because it, it's like, it's, this is, you know, being a Scorpio, I can relate. It's that feeling of having trouble finding the motivation, the inspiration to, to keep going to push forward and because of whatever conflicts are going on in your mind. Interesting. All right, spirit. This is deep spirit. Why you gotta do this to me? 
<laughs> Let's see. What messages do we have for Scorpio? What messages do we have for Scorpio? Spirit. Mm-hmm. The nine of wands, you got your guard up. You you got boundaries. You setting up healthy boundaries. Hmm. Okay. Page of Wands. I'm gonna post some more cards and then I'll tell you what I oh that one went flying. Ten of Cups. <laughs> and then the King of Wands in reverse again. What the heck? Nine of Cups. The King of Cups. There you are. <laughs> the Ten of Swords. Oh. And then the Knight of Swords. Wow, Spirit was not playing. And on the, on the bottom of the deck, we got the World in reverse. So you could be dealing with some kind of separation here for some of you. Um, but this card ultimately talks about... Uh, the ending of a cycle that needs to be closed out, right? There's a cycle here that hasn't been closed yet. Um, and I think you're working on it. <sighs> what I'm feeling is you got your guard up because, you're, because you are working on your wish fulfillment. It's like you are going after your what is truly going to make you happy. And in terms of career, it could be like finding what it is that um, feels fulfilling to you, right? And with this page of wands here, you know, that's a messenger card. So I'm getting this feeling of like following the signs, following your intuition following your creative passion and you're over here doing your meditation work with this king of cups this is um <clears throat> gaining clarity and spirituality and understanding what's more important to you in life like what's most important to you and it's and it's your it's you know I feel like it it's what you put what you put into this world. I think that for a lot of Scorpios out there, we want to put put out. We want to put something into the world that's going that has meaning that's going to last, you know. And you are finding that. Because right here, this Ten of Cups, this is like happy home, happy life. So there's contentment in this card, right? And some of you have a family. But with this Ten of Swords right underneath it, is it feels like you're ready for a new chapter. You're ready to start a new chapter, you know? in your life and it could be anything I feel like mostly it could be career related but and, and I feel like things are going to happen fast right with this knight of swords but I also feel a sense of confusion this is what's holding you back it's just this feeling of what is my purpose? Like what? Try, really trying to figure it out. <sighs> okay, Spirit is asking me to clarify this King of Cups here. What's on the bottom of this deck? We got the Six of Cups. Now I'm hearing that in order to find clarity, you have to get back in touch with your inner child. You know, 
for some of you, this card could be talking about reconciliation and making peace with um, those around you. You know, maybe making peace with those uh, haters. <laughs> maybe uh, making peace with the, the people that bring drama into your life. I don't know. But let's see. We're going to clarify this King of Cups. Alright, Spirit, what can you tell me about this King of Cups? Clarify this King of Cups. Ooh, so we got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. The Nine of Wands again. What else, Spirit? Three of Cups, okay. So, yeah, the reason why you're closed off emotionally, maybe you feel drained by all of it, you know? Maybe you feel like there's just so much going on around you, with, like with other people or even just drama, right? That it's just so draining. And that's why you got your that's why you got your guard up. But with this three of cups here, it does feel like even though you're focused on your spiritual healing and your spiritual growth and it does it still feels like you're that's not gonna stop you from having a good time with, with those that you love, you know? Even though your heart is closed, you're not gonna, it's not gonna stop you from, you know, sharing your love. Because we do have a lot of love to give, right, Scorpio? That's beautiful. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pull a most likely outcome here for you. All right, universe, spirits, and guys, what is the most likely outcome here for Scorpio? Now keep in mind that this is not set in stone. Actions shape destiny. The emperor in reverse. The five of coins. Oh, oh what was that? I saw something, there we go. Page of swords. Two more. The Five of Swords. And then the Eight of Wands. Interesting. I feel like for some of you, Spirit is trying to say, pay attention to the red flags. There's someone here or Maybe some certain people around you that might not be, um, that might not have your best interests at heart. Because with this five of coins here, this is that feeling of being left out. Now, for some of you, that could be talking about a lack of finances, right? Maybe this is why there's um, a lack of motivation. And I think that what's going to end up happening is I think that you're going to learn how to let go of that sense of control and find clarity. You know, I, I see heavily that there's a, like a lot of gossip or drama with these cards here. And I and I I see you finding clarity in this situation. Even though it may it might mean you know pushing people aside, right? You know that moment when um 
young King Arthur pulls out his the sword from the stone. And when he like unsheaths the sword and it like shines so brightly that it like blinds everybody and everybody around it is kind of like in awe. They're just kind of like, <gasps> right? And they, and, um, they just kind of back up, like just in, instinctively. And that's what's happening here is like, I think you're going to find your clarity through releasing this sense of control. Because with this Eight of Wands, not only does that stand for communication coming through, but it also stands for forward movement, fast forward movement. With this Knight of Swords too. Some of you could be traveling in the near future. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, we got the Seven of Swords in reverse. Someone's not being authentic here and now keep in mind that this doesn't necessarily have to mean someone in your in your circle or someone else it, it could be talking about you know yourself maybe you're not being authentic to yourself so just keep that in mind too let's clarify this page of swords what is this clarity oh thank you spirit six of cups reconciliation <laughs> like I said and for some of you this could be getting back in touch with your inner child <laughs> yeah look the five of wands in reverse like it's like you're just tired of all the drama mm-hmm all right, let's go ahead and close out this reading with a Sacred Destiny Oracle card here. Spirit, what advice do we have for Scorpio moving forward? Continue to focus on your goals. You know, I think you know what to do, Scorpio. I feel like this reading is just validation for you. All right? Let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Now, I just got this deck, so we're going to read it out of the book, okay? We're going to learn about these cards together. But what I feel mostly with this card is just basking in the abundance, right? Just take delight in, in knowing that you are part of the gr grander scheme of things. You're part of this world. All right, let's read it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Delight is expanding in your life. Clap your hands with glee. Spend time with others. Go to a community gathering. Host a party. The joy you experience will give birth to immense creativity and your life will blossom. Share your happiness and elation with others and it will grow by leaps and bounds. This isn't the time to be serious or buckle down and get to work. This is the time to be spontaneous and madcap. Do not make hard and fast commitments. Don't, don't sign any legal documents or make any pledges right now. Don't make any promises, or you might not be able to keep them. Give yourself permission to have fun, lots of fun, especially in community with others. So I definitely feel like for some of you, you could be having, you know, trouble getting back out there. Because a lot of this card is like, it's telling me like, this is a Scorpio that's, you know, hidden. It, this is a Scorpio that's in their cave and they're afraid to go out and venture off. <laughs> you know, I've been there for sure. And I, and it's it's not surprising given the, the whole situation with the pandemic. So I don't blame you, Scorpio. But Spirit is saying, like, let, you know, learn how to have fun in, in the midst of all of this, right? Just, just, just do it. Just have some fun. Let loose. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have for you today. I hope that this reading resonated with you. 
If it did, please go ahead and click the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you would like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And until next time, Scorpio, I will see you later. Bye.